Hello everyone and today I will be showing you how to install my the web display mod for Minecraft 1.6.2 It's kind of different to install than the other one so I'm gonna do like from the complete start like everything from zero like a, 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 a fresh dot Minecraft totally fresh out of the furnace <laughs> okay so I'm gonna begin by first downloading Forge I guess possibly these ads that you have to shoot stuff keep okay then I go to my downloads folder and already install it okay I have two here but just doubled so nothing to worry about and also this is from the mods I'll get into that when I download this <laughs> okay so I just double click Minecraft Forge install clients okay this is your path to your Minecraft then press OK it's gonna say success yeah you get it and open your Minecraft you have to launch it at least once for it to create the mods folder okay profile forge click play Okay, now it's done. It made the mods thing here and it also made the mods folder in your app data. Okay, now comes the tricky part. Well, unless you're doing it this way. But I like the manual way more because I know what I'm putting in my Minecraft. <laughs> so, well, that. Downloads, which is gonna not even give me enough time to get this, but I'm going to my dot Minecraft in the percent app data percent, so percent app data percent, and then open your dot Minecraft. Okay, and then in your downloads folder, you're gonna have two files wd libs and web displays. This is the what's inside web displays, so. It has an MC modded info, so it goes in the mods folder. It also says it right here, but <laughs> whatever. And then the WD libs, you're gonna open that. Everything that's in here is going to go in your dot Minecraft. Okay, till now everything's good. Now I'm on a 64 bit operating system so it's be it'll be a little different from mine I'll have to do an extra step that uh, the 32 bit operating system users won't have to do but this step you the 32 bit also have to do okay so just go to your uh, versions folder and then open your 1.6.2 forge and then open the thing that says the file that says JSON in, on the end or right here type okay and then just open that and then after this bracket or whatever the thing is called you're gonna paste in this code just go to the forums and press click manual install and get the code okay then you press like paste and if you want you can make it look like it's more organized and in the right place if you want. But it's not really needed. I'm gonna do it anyway. So bear with me one second. Okay. Then you save it. Close this out. And then okay, this part is done. For the thirty two bit operating system, everything should be work should be working now but for the 64-bit operating system you still have to do one last step and this loads 
there you go now click edit profile on your forge when your forge is selected click edit okay then down here you'll see java settings and you just press executable and then this will have to be your let me show you from the 32-bit java okay that may be a little drawback because of the you know when you're running on 64-bit you can it runs minecraft with more fps it runs faster but it doesn't matter really if you want to use this mod okay just open your java folder in your 86 times 86 programs or program files times 86 open the java in there the java folder and then go to your java version which will be shev that <laughs> shall be 7 and then open your bin okay and then java w is right here as you can see so i'm going to right click that and then i'm going to copy this i'm going to control c press ok and then you're going to leave this here just paste the code behind it and then well this isn't okay so we just put it under bracket and like whatever this thing is called here and then click save and then play okay now you will have to make a 16 by 9 screen the model already shows up here, it doesn't mean it works though. We'll have to make a 16 by 9 screen. Like this. Okay, see if it works. There you go. And then you just shift click and then right click and then enter the URL. You have to place it in, like put it in an HTTP and then the two things www.google.com actually let's go to my channel youtube.com okay and then just so you can see that it actually works I'm gonna also okay don't <laughs> use that don't do what I did <laughs> okay you know what I'm just gonna copy my channel thing here YouTube okay copy and then paste okay there's my channel now if I want to watch a video or something click it pause it everything works okay so thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and as always see you next time